I, I, I just want to ask you, before we get there, I want to turn the clock back just a little bit. And I want you just to talk about, if you don't mind, about, about the Kansas State culture with, mm-hmm. with Coach Tang right. and, like, everything, you know, that, like, like that they've been able to do over there on that side. Because you was a piece of that. You was in there. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, man, you know what? I, like, I tell people this, or I've told a few people this, and, they, like, the few people I've told, they know me, so they know, like my wife, like, she know how much I love to play when I played. I played every day, all the time. I would go anywhere to play. I literally had the best year of my life basketball-wise last year um, at Kansas State. Like, it was the best year being a part of a team, whether I was playing or whether I was coaching. And it was just because, number one, Coach Tang is, man, I, Coach Tang is probably one of the top five human beings that I've met in my wow. life. I, You know, it's hard to find a flaw with Coach Tang. I know guys say nobody's on earth is perfect but yeah it's hard to find a flaw in jerome tang man he's he's a he's just a great dude great great dude and i think i'm a better human being just by not even a better coach i'm a better human being a better man by being with coach tang and he taught me so much um you know taught me so much talking to me and taught me so much just by watching him the way he interact with people the way he interact with his wife the way he you know, uh, Wayne Eckwood with players, just, just all around. He's just all around great dude, and he's a selfless leader. And it started with him, and he he built our, he built that culture, you know, um, in a short amount of time and connected with our players and guys believed. And, you know, um, it's funny. Uh, obviously, we was one game away from the Final Four, and I think it was maybe December. Um, E.T. came and spoke to us, Eric Thomas. He came and spoke to us, and f- when the time that he left, um, we would send we would send messages in the group chat. Different coaches or players sometimes would send, you know, that we wanted to win a national championship in a group text, um, you know, and say it five times in a group text, and like we was doing that back in December, and so for for us to go on the run that we had, man, that was a uh, that was it was tremendous and a blessing to be a part of, um, you know. I think the night before we played uh, FAU in the Elite Eight game, um, I was up for 24 hours, and my wife was trying to make me go to sleep in the hotel. And I was like, "How can I sleep? We about to, we about to play play. We 40 minutes away from the Final Four tomorrow. I've been watching this stuff since I was a kid, and to be in the moment, to be that close, and to be, I mean, a part of the NCAA tournament and being in." win a sweet 16 game and to be 40 minutes from the final four like it was it was hard for us to sleep in new york city playing at madison square garden so it was just all man just a last year was just 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 i can't put into words how how great last year was for me man 